I spoke with one Pizza Hut employee who told me just how different this parking lot looked the night he walked out of work to find not just some stranger, but a college classmate slumped over in a pool of blood. Police now say they believe they have the final piece of the puzzle. Murder suspect Tyree Smith in custody, and he will be shipped back from Oklahoma to join his four fellow suspects in a Muskogee County jail cell. Things are considerably calmer here at the Pizza Hut on Buena Vista Road. It's been one year since April 6, 2018, when 32 year old Brandon Denson was found in the parking lot, shot three times in the back inside his own Jeep. Employees still remember the horrific sight. We all went out there, went out there, seen him slumped over in his truck, and I knocked on the window saying, Sir, are you all right? You okay? No answer. And that's when I opened the door, I saw the blood. Columbus police confirmed Tuesday the fifth and final suspect, 21-year-old Tyree Smith, was finally caught during a traffic stop 817 miles away in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Officers had been tracking Smith since he evaded police just nine hours before his ultimate arrest. There was certain information that uh, had been put into a computer system, uh, which uh, helped with taking him into custody, like a lookout on uh, certain things. Once Smith is extradited from Oklahoma, he will join four other suspects in the case. Eric Spencer, Dover Coppins, Tommy Mullins, and Jonathan Swift. Officers testified in recorder's court back in August. Mullins, an aspiring rapper in competition with the victim, planned the attack on Denson in order to steal a briefcase containing around 16 pounds of marijuana. Major Hawk says police cannot confirm if any of the drugs or money involved in the case were ever found. That sounds crazy, but it's, it's nothing new here in Columbus. That's Columbus, so it's nothing new. Mm -hmm. My first little thought probably was is a drug deal gone wrong and settled. That's my first little thought when I saw it. Major Hawk says although four other persons of interest were also named in the case, no additional arrest warrants are issued at this time. He says police believe they have a firm grasp on the case with this fifth and final arrest. Some people are able to hide out better than uh, others. Uh, but what's good is we were able to put together the case, even though these people weren't present, uh, and get enough probable cause to have warrants issued for them, and eventually we find them. That man I met here today says he's just glad justice can be served for the victim's family as well as the young daughter he left behind. Now, Smith will need to be extradited from Oklahoma, as we said, and that extradition could take up to a month before he will finally face Muskogee County Court justice. Reporting live and on your side on Buena Vista Road, Michaela Singleton, WRBL News 3.